Bye bye South America. Hello Panama. two days later after leaving Bumblebee at the airport in Bogota and I just checked on our Sysapp tracker application and I can see that Bumblebee has flown <laughs> Bogota to Panama City literally just updated 15 minutes ago it looks like Bumblebee is arrived <laughs> Getting our motorbike. You must go to the window to do the customs process. Okay. Yeah. Collect yes. the stamps and then return to us. Customs process has to start now. So apparently that is the customs window. <laughs> it's a really, really, really small window. Uh, oh yeah, see. Oh, gracias. gracias. Cool. Ah, uh, yep, okay. yep, yep. Cool, look at this, we're on our way. We have to go back over there anyway, but um, we just thought whilst we were waiting that we would just have a look around. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Bumblebee. There she is. Happy and alive! Look how pretty! Wow! They wrapped her up so nicely as well, like... It's incredible! Bumblebee is ready for a Central American adventure! Okie dokie. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. <gasps> Back home. Yes. We are officially riding the streets of Panama. What a nice feeling, hey? Can't believe it. It was all nice and smooth. I didn't have any worries. It was like done in two hours. Cargo riders, you are the best. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Gracias. Bienvenido a Panamá. Yeah. Oh, nice. Is this the flag of Panama? That's it. That's cool, hey? Yeah, it's super cool. Wow, look at that, man. Yeah, it's so built up here. Look at this <laughs> section here. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, they can literally, they can't fit another condo block there. That is just full to the brim. There must be like thousands of apartments and offices in that one little block. Thousands, absolutely thousands. According to the map, we are already next to the canal system. I think it's starting here. Wow, look at this boat. Wow. 
So we are here, we have arrived at the Panama Canal <laughs> and a giant boat is just about to pass through. It's so unbelievably big, this boat. Oh my God. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, Wow, there it is, riding over the Panama Canal, can you believe it? I actually can't. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. Cool, so cool, really. Yeah, it's like one of those landmarks that you can't actually imagine ever being next to. Oh, we've got a fire right next to the road. Oh, wow, my that, that's hot here. Wow, that's hot. Wow. And here as well. Whoa, look at this. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's really dangerous. Sin tus caderas no puedo cantar. Sin tus caderas no puedo gozar. Sin tus caderas y movimiento mi ritmo y música va a parar. Sin tu cadera mi melodía no vale nada. Okay, so you guys might wonder why we're going backwards up a highway. Well, the rear camera just fell off the bike. I really, really don't want to lose it. Oh man, where is it? We found it. We have found it. Oh no. Ah, oh, it's been run over. It's been totally, totally. Oh. Okay, so we've just been pulled over or stopped by this police guy on a motorbike. So I'm just going to find out what it is he wants. Oi, David. Uh, yes, uh, uh, sleep in David. Oh, See. Okay. Huh? This one, you wanna say? Did I get my passport back? Yeah. Yeah? Did yeah. I get my driver's license? Yeah. And then he saw that I was recording. <laughs> it's like the worst thing to happen. Oh no! Okay, so that ended pretty well in the end. I was a little bit worried there for a minute. After I said we didn't have cash, he just shook my hand and said, no problem, you know? <laughs> no problem, no, just go your way. So it looks like we're just arriving in the small border town of San Isidro and I don't exactly know where the border is but it's coming up, it's coming up soon. Bienvenidos a Paso Canoas. Okay we've got some sort of control here. Hola. 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 Uh, migraciones y ad aduana. Aduana. Aduana y migraciones. Okay. Gracias, okay. gracias. Gracias. Should I put it in the middle here? Yes, <laughs> yeah, put it right in the middle. <laughs> Panama Customs. The ah! <laughs> she said don't put it over the Customs logo, hey? Okay, we'll put it here. Okay, okay, put it next to... Yeah. 507 Overland. Yay. Goodbye Panama. They just sent me out. Rock and roll, baby. All right, all done. Gracias. We stopped here at this really cute uh, little restaurant and we were just asking for pineapple juice. So I drank already my whole cup. But then she 
came the lady from the restaurant and she's like, oh, I have a second cup for you. Yes. So, <laughs> that is a pint of goodness right there. Yeah. It's at the moment 32 degrees and it's very humid, so it feels more like 35 degrees. But mm. yeah, the pineapple juice is saving our lives. Oh, look at this bridge. Wow. It's massive. Amazing. Look oh. at this river. Oh, beautiful. That is a paradise river, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. I just want to stop on the side of the road, get an easel out and just paint it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> find ourselves a parking which is apparently 250 meters according to this big sign from the park entrance yes so excited monkeys 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 monkeys, 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 monkeys. monkeys. and sloths as well oh sloth, 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 sloth. we can see our first sloth up there in the tree look look look, look. he's around there look can you see him yes. it looks just like a giant ball of fluff <laughs> can't see his face or anything we can just see like his butt <laughs> ah, nice look look he's coming <laughs> oh my god he's caught himself a lizard and he's just like devouring it in front of everyone <laughs> It is most definitely time to go for a little dip before we leave Manuel Antonio Park. Swimming in the Pacific in Costa Rica, done. Costa Rica, here's the evidence, we are here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for looking after Bumblebee. <laughs> Thank you. Abierto? Si? Sí. Sí? Sí. Perfecto. Me hablo español no bueno. <laughs> no, pero se entiende. <laughs> you speak English? Hablo inglés? No? <laughs> Nada? Quanto cuesta para un noche? 12.000. 12 12.000, let's say 12. 12? 12. I think it's alright now. Okay, gracias. Guys. You can't believe it, but here's a tree full of chickens. Look, there's one, there's one. And then you can't see on camera, but there are like three or four more. Perfect, thank you so much. Any other batteries or just one? Uh, just one. Just one. Okay. Micro SD. Too. Okay, micro SD. Okay. Our first recording with the new camera. Yes! <laughs> camera, camera, camera! Oh, <laughs> so this fella just came out the house and gave us these these rain covers. He just came out and said, I have a gift for you guys. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. That's awesome. Welcome to Costa Rica. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, how cool is that, hey? Whoa. <laughs> You are rain protected. I'm so rain protected. I'm ready to return back to Ecuador and tackle the rain again. <laughs> <laughs> so we have entered now the famous Costa Rican cloud forest. I saw a sign that this is some kind of cloud forest. Yeah, and it is very cloudy. <laughs> oh, hold on, one way bridge. Ooh. Yeah, it's actually crazy the difference in the atmosphere from when we came out of San Jose, 33 degrees, blazing hot, sunshine, and now it's like 22 degrees and uh, the air is like, yeah, moist. Whoa, okay, we're going over a crazy metal see-through bridge here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be careful, my love. Yeah, that might be quite slidey for us, hey? Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Some crazy views. Crazy, don't look down. <laughs> no, this doesn't feel too great riding on this. Oh no! Wow! Holy moly, we got some rain. Oh man, I just wanted to get that last couple of miles. Oh. Yeah, that's really unexpected actually. Yeah, that came on super fast. We're just trying to fly the drone and see if we can get any views of Aranel. But even on the screen, it's like you can see the beginning of the volcano, but the whole top part covered in clouds. Hello, beautiful. Hello. These guys are so cheeky. Look at them. I don't have food for you guys. No. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I just booped him. <laughs> now he doesn't trust me anymore. I lost his trust. So we've just gone over the hill from the lake and like the rainforest is gone. It's like open countryside now. So we're going to take off our coats now because look at it. It's just blue skies. It's hard to believe that this was rainforest. So we're a couple of miles from the border still, but there's like a huge, huge, huge line of trucks. Like, I mean, really the biggest line ever. I don't know what's going on here. If they are waiting to enter Nicaragua, look, they're moving very slowly. Yeah, they are moving. They are moving very slowly, yeah. Stamped out of Costa Rica. And now Lavi's just gone in to do hers. And then I've got to do customs for Bumblebee. And we're ready to make our way into Nicaragua. Much, much, much later. So I'm just hiding here behind the bike. I'm eating some pineapple because it's really hot now. I can feel that I'm starting to overheat again. So I thought it's a good idea now to eat some pineapple. Oli is inside at the aduana office since one hour or maybe one and a half hours already. So it's really, really slow going. I'm just waiting here outside in the heat and yeah, I hope that he will be finished soon and that we can get on our way. Eventually. I got it. <laughs> Temporary import permit finished. Wonderful. We're ready to see Nicaragua. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at that view. First views in Nicaragua. Wow, look at this lake. But not only the lake, 
But look behind the lake, or in the lake. It's like two crazy giant volcanoes. Wow, that's a crazy view. It's so incredibly beautiful. I would like to go for a swim as well. <laughs> I can see people swimming here. Yeah. Wow. What a place! Incredible! We're heading to this town, Masaya, because next to this town is a volcano called Volcano Masaya, which is like a totally crazy active volcano that you can go up to the crater of and see like the lava down below. It sounds absolutely incredible and if we get there in time, we want to see if we can go there tonight. I think this is it. This is the car park oh. and that's the crater. Wow! Right in front. Nice! Bienvenidos a Nicaragua! Woo! Okay, we're on our way to have a look inside the crater. Oh my god! You can see already the smoke coming out. You're just like, oh my god, how does it look? Yeah, look at this. Smoky! Smoky! Whoa! Look, the red. Amazing, the place where we are staying at the moment. Uh, Mikael is the owner and he has 40 tortoises. 40. And he just told us that they are really small ones. <laughs> One is just here under the log. He's sleeping. Yeah, it's really cute. Just stopping in the town of Sebaco because we saw like a massive fruit market. Hola, buenas! So we can pick up our daily fruit supply. Just gotta find a nice and soft, juicy mango. Ha! Ah. Okay, tiene piña? Ah, yes. Gracias. Uh, you can. Yeah, go on. Hiya! <laughs> Muchas gracias, thank you. Cool. So we've had a bit of a disaster. We were just coming up to the front of Selva Negra and I stalled it coming up the hill, dropped it on its side and uh, bent the foot pedal. It was a bit like this. So I thought, okay, I'll just bend it back a bit and then it broke off. So, so that's not so great, hey? came off the trail to find some coffee plants and we have <laughs> ah, here it is the bush of dreams so they call the coffee here shade grown coffee because actually the bushes are just here about this tall about two meters tall and they are below a canopy of much bigger trees so actually the whole coffee field is like a sort of under canopy field, like in the forest, basically. I think it's possible. I, let's see if I can show the camera. I put my foot on this little thing here, and then I should be able to just about keep it going. Yeah, I mean, some days are just not um, good days, hey? Today, we are not very lucky. No, we missed the last coffee tour. Yeah. We broke the foot pedal. Yeah. And lost an iPhone cable, apparently. We just found out as well. Yeah. So there you go. You can't win every day, hey? Fortunately not. Okay. See, okay. Okay. So it's currently half past six and we're just trying to see if it's possible to do this today. We will try to fix the aluminum bar uh, just to attach 
the, the spare to the motorbike, but they need to contact two persons just to keep the same price. Okay. And it's gonna be done today. Okay. You're, you're gonna solve it. Yeah. And they're gonna do it. Amazing. <laughs> Look at this place, full of tools. <laughs> Mucha máquina. <laughs> Wow! Crazy! Look at that! Just like that, Bumblebee is back in one piece. When two pieces become one piece. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that! No way! She saw all of these and she rescued us. <laughs> yes! <laughs> So I just go through the cones? I just I go through so the cones, eh? That's the... Oh. oh, should we do, just continue filming or not? I guess so, we're already okay. filming, so yeah. Hola! Hola, buenas! Violó la señal de tránsito. Uh, again? Violó una señal de tránsito, pero ahí no podía pasar por donde están los cones. Uh, Tenía que hacer el giro al otro lado. No podía pasar. Oh, oh, no, no through, around. Tenía que dar la vuelta. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. Okay. Okay. A traffic infraction applied to you for neglecting a traffic signal. Okay, pay it at a bank. Get off the motorcycle and follow me in the vehicle. Take off your helmet, please. Okay. To apply the <laughs> infraction. Okay. Infraction. Got my license or do I have the license? I think he has the license. Okay. Just take this one. They can't really take the license off of you, can they? We need the license back. You can ask them, like, please give me the license back. I will pay it on Tuesday. Five minutes later. We're getting pretty close to the border now. It's another 15 minutes and we should be there. Bienvenidos a Honduras. Amigos de Gran Bretaña, que la pasen bien. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank Muchas you gracias. so much. We got it. <laughs> so there we go. Such nice guys at the Honduran Customs. We had like pictures together. Oh, Lavi, something, listen. What's that noise? Can you see something? I don't know, did you hear that? It's a bit weird. Yeah, so we had a little inspection here of the wheel and it is making some really funny noises but there is a spoke which is loose so Lavi's just doing up the spoke and we're going to see if that changes anything. Okay, it's running and it's not making any weird noise, hey? Okay, maybe it was the uh, spoke doing something strange as it was going around. No, it sounds good now. Okay, well, we have to basically pray that there isn't anything else going on. Anyway, welcome Honduras! Oh yeah, I forgot to say, we are officially here. We have entered Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Country number 18 on our journey around the world. Couldn't resist stopping for breakfast on our way to Tegucigalpa and we got a traditional breakfast here. Look at this. We've got some plantain, some beans and rice, egg, cheese, tortilla, this onion as well. Oh my god. <laughs> not bad, not bad. 
So at the moment we try to figure out where the noises we heard yesterday <coughs> coming from. And so far we can actually see here that this rubber thing is not aligned anymore. So we pushed it in a little bit, but you can see here that it's coming out here on this side. So we don't really know like how good or how bad that is, or if this is like a quick fix or if this can damage something we have to um, look for a garage asap so we're just stopping here at a petrol station and we just had a little look and um, there's definitely some bits of metal coming out from inside this bit here something's grinding away so I don't know what that is, but yeah, definitely got a bigger problem than just the, the rubber because something's not right in there for sure. So actually we had one guy here and he saw us like looking at the bike and being like a little bit concerned. Um, so he recommended us to actually ask here at um, actually an auto repair shop if they can have a look at it and check it out because it's a little bit more concerning probably than we thought and the mechanic here said yes and now he's like just looking at it and seeing how bad it is no bueno eh no bueno Val. Valinera. Val Valinera. you can see all the little balls are totally all totally broken ah okay so normalmente mas no is it todo Oh, okay, wow. We've gone around the town and either everywhere's closed or we've tried a couple of places and they just don't have this specific part. So we're gonna go back over to the mechanic and see if he can put everything back together and then we're gonna ride it nice and slow, nice and easy back into town. And basically we're gonna have to wait two days here until Monday, but it doesn't look like we're going anywhere today. One year on the road, can you believe it? Actually, it was our one year anniversary yesterday, but we didn't do a riding day yesterday, so we didn't film anything. Actually, we were stuck here in this town because Mrs. Bumblebee has some issues. Okay. Oh, that looks really small. No, it looks quite similar. Does it? Is this the one? I don't know. Okay, so these guys have uh, the bearing in the right size, but we have no idea if this is actually going to work. But it is apparently the exact same size bearing. Our hero has started to work on the back tire now. He's taking it off. These two look so similar, it has to work. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Bravo. Perfect anniversary day, hey? Getting our bike back together. <laughs> People, they do the great thing. I can't believe they are in Honduras. See what the peque, Honduras. It's far away from London. Can you see this guy? It's amazing what they do. <laughs> Thank you, Frankie. Have a good day. Bumblebee lives on. <laughs> What a cool place, hey? It's paradise here. Yeah. Oh my God. And they have a pool. So I think we will check out the ocean first, then the pool, and then for sunset, we go back to the ocean. Sounds like a plan. There we go. We have arrived in the Caribbean. Woohoo! Cool. Wow. It's like a very long beach here. Wow. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful! I need a place, a home for a while. Let me feel Feel like 
Hola. Hola. Uh, migración y aduana. Migración. Uh, okay. Aquí. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. That was a bit difficult because we went to pay and we didn't have enough dollars to cover it. They wanted thirty-five dollars from us and we just had twenty. There's no ATM here. There's no way of getting money. The nearest ATM is like thirty minutes into Guatemala and we can't even get the motorcycle in. Uh, to go there, so we were pretty stuck. But then there was a guy next to us from the Latin American Motorcycle Association. There's like a whole bunch of these llama riders here at the border as well, and we've been chatting to them. And he offered to pay that bill for us, and he didn't want anything in return. He just said, "No, I'm going to pay it for you guys, so that you can get get this done." So this guy super helped us out, absolutely incredible generosity here at the border thank you guys thank you very much see ya <laughs> oh, those guys are awesome no more crying don't be shy or nothing yeah that's what we do no ask everybody you get stuff anybody want to help you Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you're, you're super kind. Thank you so much, really. Thank you. I didn't film it, but Elizabeth just wrote Guatemala on our box. Muchas gracias. <laughs> wow, look at this, yeah. Something going on here, hey? Yeah, the markets of Rio Dulce. Cool. I just like saying that, Rio Dulce. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, it's just pure jungle. It's like you can imagine a jaguar is just like, just here. We camped here last night inside the Tikal National Park, right next to the Mayan city ruins. And about one hour ago, we just had like this crazy howler monkey symphony. I thought that you were snoring. <laughs> well, look, it's super misty around this morning. I like it. <laughs> That's the Mayan atmosphere. <laughs> wow, you feel like you are on the top of the jungle. You know, you feel like that you are really in there. Unbelievably hot. I think we have like 39 degrees at the moment. And Oli went in the shop and bought me a, a ice cream, but it looks like this. <laughs> so I have to figure out now how to eat that. This is a very, very um, rural uh, border crossing here, and the border opens at nine. <laughs> we just do with hand signs. <laughs> And you got howler monkeys, I just heard them again. There's nothing like a border crossing with howler monkeys, hey. Amazing. Hola, buenas. Hola. Hola. Uh, aquí? Okay. 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 Two hours later. Oh. Got a sheep. Sheep in the way. Here we go. Puerto Fronterizo, El Saibo. Buen viaje. We have officially entered Mexico. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Nice! 
Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> so we just stopped here at the first shop actually after the border because we desperately need something to drink. And also um, Oli went this morning to get some cash out because we were yesterday reading some stuff or oh, you need definitely some cash for the border crossing but they didn't actually let us pay in Catales they wanted to pay us either in US dollar or with our credit card so there was a big big waste and now we are here at this shop and the guy is actually exchanging money for us <laughs> I'm rich now <laughs> for a day gracias muchas gracias thank you oh, oh. here we go yeah okay. hola buenas Hola. 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 Uh, again? Um, um, Palenque. Palenque. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias. gracias. Okay. That was quite easy, hey? Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was quite friendly. <laughs> nice. So the only thing we can learn from our border experience this time is sometimes being unprepared <laughs> it's just as good as being prepared yes but now we don't have any border crossings to do for quite a while which is awesome because mexico is a massive country and we have a lot of riding to do oh yes course they are here incredible wow. there's two more over here as well oh, they're so beautiful <laughs> and this bird shows exactly what this organization does because for the last 70 years the scarlet macaw has actually been extinct in the Chiapas region of Mexico and this organization has worked to breed and re-release back into the wild over 80 of these beautiful birds just coming up to military post number like I don't know four or five for the day okay I'm not gonna go around this one no <laughs> this fellow with a big machine gun waiting there yeah Okay, it looks alright for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know if that meant stop, go. I, I don't, don't know. know. And there was another guy waving, but I don't know. It's always quite confusing, but anyway. Hola, buenas. Jugo de piña? Si. Si. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta para una? 35 litro. 35, uno litro. Oh, okay. Esa, esa, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, perfect. Whew, yeah, I gotta drink some now. I am hot. Yeah, me too. So I just asked the uh, woman working here where the pineapples were from, and she just pointed like right over there. So I think there's a pineapple field literally just here. Yeah. Yeah, this is pineapple fields. Nice. Cool! Number nine! Here we go, got our own little garage. Yeah. Love, the, little yeah, love these auto hotels, <laughs> so great. So let's go upstairs and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we got this crazy chair again. Just like in the other love hotel. It looks a little bit like a horror movie it does really doesn't it but it is really hot and there is air conditioning in here does it work please work oh if we can at least be cool in here overnight then i'm happy the only chance of us getting on the road this morning is to have a coffee it was a pretty loud night because the air conditioning unit is very very loud i thought the whole night that there's a truck in front of our room and then we had mosquitoes as well wanting to eat us let's hope that the room tonight will be a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable <laughs> and not so scary ah! 
So it looks like we have hit a major traffic jam here. Yeah, it's like the traffic completely stopped. Completely stopped. It's okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm you're all right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> I'm gonna see if I can make my way through and back out to the edge. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Is he going? No. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, okay, he's yeah. going back a little bit. Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you. He's like a little dinosaur on his. Yeah, a little front. pterodactyl. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh bugger. Oh bugger. Still like. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay. <laughs> but it looks like there's more and more people in the in that lane. Yeah, the military stuck. Oh, crazy stuff is going on here. It's a parasol kind of day. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. It's time to get our Mexico on the box. Brilliant. Ah, uh, beautiful! Muchas gracias! So we've seen that there's loads and loads of strawberry sellers on the side of the road. So I think this is an amazing opportunity to pick up some strawberries. I don't know where to put it though. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. That's brilliant. Muchas gracias! <laughs> Muchas gracias! Mm. Are they tasty? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice! Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Amazing. The question is, my love, where do we put it? So we've reached the town of Angahuan and uh, we're heading up to the tourist information centre but this looks... Oh, yeah that's closed, hey? I'm not sure. Oh, it is closed. Yeah. Okay. Not sure what this noise is all about. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay. Okay. Yeah, we've got to figure out another way. Oh wow, cool! That's nice. It is actually really nice here. It seems like there's a bit of an event going on, a festival type thing. Yeah. I am really glad that we didn't try coming down here with Bumblebee because we were like thinking about it. We were like, oh maybe we should give it a go. People said it's possible. Look at this. Look at this sand. Sand or steps? Make your choice. <laughs> wow, look at this in front. So this is basically the extent of where the lava from Paracutin volcanic eruption got to. So if you look behind me, it's just forest, no sign of any recent eruptions, and then a wall of lava. Look at that. Wow, I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is crazy. That's so impressive. How this church is still standing, surrounded by this lava field. <gasps> and this was like molten rock going on around this church for like eight, nine years. Yeah. And it withstood it, it's still there. 
That's magical. It's a little bit sad that we have to head back to the 15D toll road, but after checking on the UK government website about the travel advice here in Mexico and the security situation regarding cartel activity, armed conflict and robbery, the travel advice from the UK government was basically stick to the main roads, don't head into the rural countryside because this is where the security forces have limited access to and limited control. And apparently there are some areas where where they're pretty much entirely controlled by the cartel. I didn't realize that the highway was so far away. I'm not totally happy about that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like on every corner, like, oh my God, <laughs> is there something? I don't know, maybe I read too much. I think you did actually, even now I'm a little bit paranoid. Anyway, let's hope for the best, hey? not like this at all. We should have checked the Google Maps though. We didn't check it because on Google Maps we are at the moment on a white road even, you know? It's not even a yellow road. And now we have to ride one hour on these small roads. Yeah. I'm sure we will make it. It's just in our heads, you know? We're just to relax in our heads. Yeah. So we made it back to the main road and uh, we just stopped at the first petrol station uh, that we could find just to sit and chill out for a minute. And when we fueled up, they gave us a free coffee with our fuel up. <laughs> it's pretty good. Jackpot. Oh, good ma'am. That was probably the most stressful hour on the bike we've had, probably for the whole trip. I mean, I don't know, it was probably all just in our heads. But I felt like every village that we were going through, nobody was smiling, everybody was sort of looking at us. It was such a strange atmosphere. I'm really happy that we're back on a bigger road and that we're gonna be heading to the highway after this. What do we learn from it? We have to check Google Maps. We yeah. can't trust it. Don't just be like, start, go. Anyway, we made it. Yeah. 25,999.9. We just hit. 26,000 miles on the road! Woo! How long do you want to stay, guys? Uh, just for the one night. For the one night, yeah. Look, uh, you can drive uh -huh. uh, close to the beach. Okay. Wow, this place looks really nice. Really, really, really nice. Ah, and then I think he said like, oh, you can go on the deck. On the deck there. Wow. Wow, are we in heaven? Oh. This is like right next to the beach. Look oh, at that. Wow. Cool. Look at that. Wow, we will have our noodles here. Yes. Okay, right, let's get the camp set up. And let's get some noodles on the go, yes. then we can have dinner with sunset. Yes. Ta -da! I love it here! Yes, amazing! So this morning is probably the scariest morning of our trip so far because we just try to organize and see where we want to cross into the USA. So we actually looked up Ichibut's channel where she crossed into the USA from Mexico and we were watching it and we were like, oh, that looks easy. And then in the last second, she was like, ah, oh, I needed to apply four weeks in advance for my temporary import permit. And we were like, what? What was this info about now? And now we are researching and apparently we have to apply in advance for our temporary import permit. Oh my God. And apparently it's like four weeks in advance and we are like a few days, maybe one week away from crossing the border. Yeah, I don't know what to do. We just checked our emails and we had an email from the Environmental Protection Agency in the US and basically what they said to us is you do need an environmental protection agency exemption in order to get the bike into the US. We asked him can we go in without this and he said no you need this letter from us. So then we asked how long that would take to get the letter 
and he said it would be between 14 and 21 business days. We've actually booked in to get married in Las Vegas. <laughs> And that wedding is supposed to happen in just over two weeks. Now we are in a really, really big, big, yeah, picker. I guess at this point, we have to go towards the border. Mm -hmm. We have to hope that this letter comes sooner than expected, or we just have to go to the border and try and cross it. I don't know. I don't know for now. So we're just unpacking Bumblebee, and look who arrived on this on the shadow ride here is Axel Escalante. Hello. <laughs> Let me see your bike. Nice. 550. Yes, yes. Very cool. And Axel has a present for us. Oh, thank you so much. He's a friend of uh -huh. boys, MC Los Mochis. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Terminal de Transporadores. Hola. 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 Um, Baja Ferry Biletera. It's a... Uh, Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, yes. We've just had the call that we can start moving, which is amazing. It is 20 to 1 now. And on the ticket, it says the ferry was supposed to leave at midnight. So that's not happening. But this is an improvement. We're getting closer. Okay. I think we're going. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. Wow, it looks much bigger up close. <laughs> there she is, Bumblebee! Safe and sound, hey? Into the daylight! Oh yes! Woo, here we are! We've hit land on the Baja Peninsula. Nice! Wow! There's some <laughs> big cactuses there. Incredible! So cool. So cool. Wow. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. Somos eh, Cerritos Beach Dog una fundación para el rescate y el cuidado de perros. We are a rescue and cafe located in Cerritos, Baja California Sur, Mexico. Que si están por Baja California Sur, no se olviden de pasar, apoyarnos y seguirnos en las redes sociales también. Tomar un cafecito y jugar con perros. Sí. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah. Drink coffee, save a dog. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> to stop you on the side of the road because look this has got to be one of the biggest cactuses I have ever seen look at this it's so absolutely massive look at the size of this trunk wow it's like a tree it's like a cactus forest here yeah. 
Yeah, it's incredible. It's crazy, hey? It's incredible. I mean, look look around. Look, this is just cactuses all along here, all the way around on the sides of this little track. I absolutely love this landscape. Baja is beautiful. Flavia and Oli, welcome to Baja. Enjoy our beautiful land. <laughs> Thank you. You will have a lot of fun. I am a local. I'm born in Baja, born and raised. I'm so proud of my land and I, it's nice to share with these weird people. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Have fun. Yeah. Wow, look at this view. Yeah, it's, a... it's opened up into a huge valley here. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, it looks unreal. <laughs> such a nice ride today like just incredibly uh, beautiful like quiet the road is not too bad just like one of these dream rides you can have Baja is a wild place there's not really many people here where we where we've ridden so far it's been so just big open landscapes and just a lot of wild nature around us it's so cool wow cool amazing Look at this, just coming out of Loreto, and it's already an incredibly pretty ride. Look at these cactuses! Yeah, and also the colors in general, like this yellow and orange. Wow, I'm so impressed how pretty it is. Maybe if you can stop somewhere, I think I can see some dolphins. Okay, can okay. Can you stop okay. here? Yep, yep, yep. Oh wow, you're right! No way! <laughs> nice! And there is a pot of dolphins just down there at the bottom. That is spectacular, wow. How long has it been since we've seen dolphins? I think as well, like a few One, two, three, four, five, six. There's like six or seven of them. So cool, I love that so much. Our first break of the day. We wanted to get a hundred miles, but We've only done 85 because we kept stopping. <laughs> if you don't stop at all, what's the point, hey? What's the point? what's the point in moving if you don't stop? That's what I always say. Mission San Ignacio. Oh, that looks really cool. Look at that. Yeah, very pretty. So this was a old Spanish mission. Wow. And this whole area is pretty much like an oasis. There's a river running through here called the San Ignacio, the Rio San Ignacio. This is only one of two rivers that exist in Baja California Sur. So yeah, amazing green oasis in the middle of the Baja Desert. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. We're just checking there's no fence here, no? Wow, it's like literally going to be camping in between these giant cactuses. That's actually really cool. It is actually really cool. So it looks like this house was under construction, but according to the comments, it's been abandoned for years. Wow. And so behind it is this nice flat area just here. Incredible. And oh my god, it's not just giant cactuses, but look at these crazy, I don't know, is it a tree? Is it a cactus? I don't even know. What is this thing? Look at this. <laughs> I've literally, I've never seen anything like this. 
Look at it. It's like a tree, but with tiny little thorny branches. Wow, look. It's like a, another world landscape. It's like you land on another planet. That really has to be one of the largest ones we've seen so far. Look at that. That is like at least six, seven, eight, maybe even 10 meters tall. Wow. Okay, that is absolutely massive. So I think, yeah, we just got to find ourselves a nice spot, pitch up our tent, stay amongst all of the crazy plants. We're just packing up the tent and then Ollie saw something moving and here's a little mini mini baby scorpion you can't even see it properly you know when you, I'm not pointing at it <laughs> wow he's really really small where is he there he is I'm trying to get him with the hello 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 oh he's moving oh there he goes <laughs> macro scorpion Super wow cute. to be fair that's probably a venomous scorpion. And I think we should probably not get too close. Pongo mi abrigo, pongo mi lápiz y libreta. Amuleto, mi espejo en la maleta. So we stopped here because I thought on the map there was a petrol station because it says Pemex, but actually it's just this truck which says gasolina, and I think they've got like uh, like fuel cans in the back. Hola, buenas. Yeah, just off the beach. Nice. Cool! Yeah, let's check it out! Cool! Let's see if we can spot some whales! Wow, that is a beautiful bit of coastline. Wow. Nice lunch with the view. Oh yeah. I'm so impressed with this peninsula because it looks so different all the time. Yeah, I mean, now we're in like this crazy rocky coastal thing going on. The landscape on this peninsula has changed like a thousand times and each time it's just so surprising and so impressive. I mean, look at this. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, are you ready to fail to enter the US? Sweetheart! No, are you ready to successfully enter the US? Exactly! On a scale of 1 is to totally relaxed and 10 is like completely anxious, I think I'm on a 20. You know, I'm nervous crossing borders like when we've got everything, like everything we actually need. <laughs> yes, and now true. we're going to the border without a key piece of document that we do need, so it's even worse. We are coming into Tecate, and it's a little bit manic here, to be honest, but... Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Quite busy. But we are very close to the border now. Literally, the border wall, I just saw it up ahead. It's probably less than a kilometer up ahead. Hola. Hola, um, bajecito. Ah, bajecito aquí. Okay, entrar aquí or no? Yeah, okay, okay. Really close now! Yeah. <laughs> Just 
Ooh. this car to go past. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, Ooh. I think I'm losing it. There's only so much stress we can take, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so basically down here. Okay. And then to the left. Down, 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 down see. to the left. Is it this left? Let's have a quick look here. Can we go? I'll just ask. Uh, around there or a key? Okay. Oh, apparently that's we can go through here. Okay. Wow, we didn't have to go round. Wow. That's crazy. They just like just through there is fine. Skip and straight to the front. Okay. And that's the border wall right there. Look at that. Wow. That's the border wall. Wow. I think we better turn off our cameras. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Look, it says stop. Oh my lord. No. I, I think this is it. No. No. I think this is it. Look no. at this. I think that's it. No way! <laughs> we have officially entered the United States of America! <laughs> You're absolutely joking, hey? No, no, that's it. We're in. Here we go. We've made it. <laughs> Our first stop in the USA. In and out burger! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> We're in the home of the burger, the land of the burgers. So we thought for our first lunch here in the US, we had to get a burger. Hey, uh, do you guys do veggie burgers? Two veggie burgers? Yeah, yeah, you, you do veggie burger? We do. Guest number 83, please. 83. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Is it just the uh, fun? No way! No way! So apparently the veggie burger doesn't have anything in there. It's just a tomato and some cheese. <laughs> That's super weird. Right, let's see if they're in, hey? Yeah. Michelle! Hi! Hi. We made it! <laughs> Now, oh, and alive. I've been, I have been like oh. playing all day that you guys made it. Yeah. I want to be quiet. Yeah. All I know yeah. is that is that the oil was inside the thing and then it all dripped out. Now there's no oil in it. Yeah, it's, it's really just bouncy. the rubber right now. Yeah. It's a little bouncy. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's been bouncy since, since about Bolivia is when yeah. we started noticing the oil dripping out. Well, good thing Lovey doesn't weigh very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's job done for today. They're going to take apart, do everything they need with Bumblebee. And then tomorrow we're going to grab the suspension and take it over to a suspension specialist called Suspension 101. And those guys are going to help us out with that. In a few days, Bumblebee's going to be great. It's going to be like new. <laughs> Ready to go. So good. Okay. i got to get inside and see where we're at. Okay. okay. Right. Sure. I'll sure. get on it right away. Thank you. Absolutely. Awesome. So we decided whilst we're getting a lot of stuff done, we are going to get some new tires. And ah. guess which tires? I'll show you the tires. Those are the tires that we're going for. <laughs> Trail Max Missions. <laughs> we have it. Look at these beautiful tires. Beautiful. So good. Amazing. Happy and alive. Ah. <laughs> How does she look? It looks like a new bike. Oh my god. Like bike. Look, Ollie, here. You can actually see the mechanism. That's so cool. Wow. wow. It's like a new bike. So for now, the most important thing is to decorate Bumblebee a little bit. So we asked Michelle to ride on USA on our nice box. 
Yay! All right. USA. Happy and alive. USA. 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 Well, we're getting a lot of countries on there now. Flag. Oh yeah, we just installed on the back here on the pole our USA flag. Our little bodyguard as well. He's yeah. taking care of, of Bumblebee. <laughs> this is Bumblebee 2.0. Wow, we couldn't be more ready for this next leg in the US. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Watch out for all those crazy Have a really nice birthday. Yeah. 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 Ye
a bunch of mountains now. Yes, and then on the other side, it should be desert. Back to the desert, baby. Whoa, that is one crazy river down there. It must be all the meltwater from the mountains. Incredible. Look at these canyons around. That's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. absolutely spectacular here. This is the crazy thing about doing this trip around the world. We start in the morning with, oh, our foot pedal's broken. Everything's terrible. How can we even continue? But then this is where we are in the afternoon, you know? In the morning, up in the Sequoia Forest, in the snow, with the largest trees in the world. And in the afternoon, in this beautiful, crazy place. Look at this. Wow. This is just the best. This is yeah. just the best. This trip has its surprises, both good and bad, but this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, that looks really rocky, Ollie. Oh, maybe it is getting too rocky, actually, hey? I don't think that this here is still start part of the park, actually. Okay, better stop and turn around. Oh no, 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 oh no. Let's put the stand down for a sec. All right, let's turn it around and go back that way. Okay, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, if I did this on my own, I'd fall. Okay. 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 I think we're okay here. Eh? Yeah, I think so too. Oh, just there. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, perfect. Can we just get past this rocky bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I didn't fall. Hey, I was close, but no cigar. Whew. We're just hiding from the sun here. We have reached Furnace Creek. This is the Furnace Creek General Store. And we found a little bit of shade here because this is where they recorded the hottest air temperature ever recorded on Earth. Anyway, we got to hit the road because we got to get to Vegas. We got to get there in time for our wedding. Yeah. <laughs> or should we miss it? <laughs> Sweetheart. My foot pedal. It's totally fallen down. I'm basically hovering my foot now. It's like 117 miles still to go to get to Vegas. Just over two hours to ride. So let's see if I can hover my foot for the next two hours. Two hours to Vegas, let's go. Just about see in the distance down in the valley all of the big mega casinos of the strip of Las Vegas. <laughs> I actually can't believe it that we made it in time. It's crazy no? Super I mean, crazy. We set this date to get here back when we were in Panama and then we basically had to go six weeks solidly and make it here in time with so much of the bike braking being fixed, crossing <laughs> borders. It was really full on six weeks for sure. It was, and I cannot believe it as well. I cannot believe that we're here in time on schedule. 
six years ago when we both met, we said, okay, if we get married, we will get married in Las Vegas. And look at us, we are here. <laughs> yeah, you realize that in 22 miles, we're in Las Vegas, that you have no excuse anymore. <laughs> You're going to have to follow through with it. We're going to have to get married if we well, make it. We are not there just yet. <laughs> You're right. Shall I just run us off the road now? <laughs> Let's turn around. <laughs> oh my God. I was sure we would never be able to make it here. I thought something was going to break and things did break, but they got fixed. And now we are only 22 miles from Las Vegas. That's insane. Nice! Look at that, hey! Las Vegas, we are here! <laughs> wow, I've never seen anything like this in my life. We actually got our new foot bracket here and we just changed it by ourselves! Yes. Oh yes, it's going in! It's going in! I'm really proud of ourselves actually at the moment that we are able to fix the foot pedal by ourselves. I know it seems silly because we are sort of riding around the world, but <laughs> I have no idea about any technical things. But you know, you're learning whilst going along, I guess. It's on, <laughs> it's on, we did it. Yay! 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 <laughs> Look, mechanics hands. Yay! <laughs> Okay, we're nearly ready, but we have one last thing to do, a really important thing to add to Bumblebee before we can hit the road, and that is our Married in Vegas sticker. <laughs> oh yes. Yes! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Wise man say, only fools rush in. I can help falling in love with you. And then we had a beautiful ceremony and Elvis was absolutely amazing. It was just an incredible, incredible day. I think it was the most intense and uh, nicest 30 minutes of my life. That uh, was really, really cool. And we got this sticker and that makes it worthwhile. Exactly. Okay, now say Hooper down. Hooper down. <laughs> So there we go. We just rode over the Hoover Dam. Ride over the Hoover Dam. Check. <laughs> awesome. We just got dropped off by the bus and we already got views of the canyon. looks unreal actually. When you've seen one Grand Canyon, you've seen them all, haven't you? Yeah. Wow! No way! We're passing by a beautiful herd of elk here. I think there's three of them. One, two, three, four, 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 no four, four, way. four, yes! Wow! Hello! Good morning, Hello, guys. guys! Enjoy your meal! Wow! Bye! Ah, oh, beautiful animals. So cool! Wow, look at the horns on that one! Wow! They're so fluffy horns! Oh my god, it's really the first time of my life that I saw something else like this! 
Wow, look at him, hey! Look how pretty he is, hey! <gasps> Yeah, oh wow, God. what an animal. So this is our real last views of the canyon then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, take it all in. Take it all in. Take it all in. Canyon! Incredible views ahead. Oh yeah, we've just left the Kaibab National Forest behind and ahead is the desert. Wow, look at that. We're just literally dropping off the edge of this plateau and then that's it. Just desert, desert, desert. Wow, incredible. Yeah, USA never fails to impress around every corner, hey? <laughs> yes. You turn a corner and you're like, what wow. the hell? Wow, wow, wow. And you're just like, where are the 400 million people that live here? Seriously, where are they? Because they aren't here. We've had a disaster. I went to fly the drone when we got into this beautiful landscape behind me and suddenly the image went black and we lost antenna signal. So Andy and I have gone off to go and search for the last known location, see if we can find it. We just climbed up this big hill. I reckon we hit a power line. <coughs> oh, I see it. I see it. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's right below the power line. You're alive. Yeah, it looks like looks like we've lost a propeller blade here, here, <coughs> here. And this one's broken as well. Wow. We've got some spare propeller blades, but I don't know if we've got enough. In another, I think, 45 minutes, we're going to be arriving in Monument Valley. So we've got a whole lot more rock formations to go, that's for sure. Here we go, crossing the state line. Welcome to Utah. That is state number four in the USA. What a place to come into Utah. So the rock formations behind me are called West Mitten and East Mitten because as you can see, it's like two hands. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. See my hands? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's really, really, really soft and slidey there. Oh my lord. Yeah, we really went for a little bit of a slide. Oh my lord. Heart attack? Yeah. But yeah, I'm not surprised. There's like sand everywhere here. Yeah. Oh man, that looks a little bit deep up ahead. No. Okay. Stay on the tire tracks. Yeah, we're definitely starting to slide on the back wheel. Yeah. Just hope that this is the right way to the camp. <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> Always. Oh! Okay. Wow, look at this. It's quite a nice view. It's a, very, it's a crazy view, look at that. Such a cool place.
Cheers. Cheers. Is everyone ready? Elvis Presley, there you go. <laughs> the cutest umbrella ever! So we're having a little bit of rain. So it's actually not raining, it's tailing. Show us hail. That's hail. Oh, no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> So if you think that we look a little bit different right now, it's because we have these amazing Scorpion XO helmets. In the raffle, we won one. And then when we went the next day to like the, their stand at the expo. Hey, what's going on? Right. They basically said to us, guys, we're going to give you both a helmet. You can't believe how happy I am. Like, I'm the happiest person in the world. It was just perfect, just amazing. That was like the icing on the cake of our whole experience of the expo. Totally. But it is time to leave Flagstaff and continue on our journey. We had a nice chilled weekend, but we've got miles to do now. We have, oh, yes. we have a journey ahead of us. The first step is straightforward, ride to Vancouver. But then we had to figure out where we could fly the bike to that would enable us to ride back to Europe. Southeast Asia wasn't an option as Myanmar's civil war meant that we couldn't cross this region easily. Plus, many countries on this route required a carnet de passage, an expensive passport for the bike, and special visas that would have required us to fly back to England to apply for. China also wasn't an option as you had to book a guided tour in order to ride there, which, when wanting to cross the whole country, would have been way over budget. This left the only option of riding through Russia, into Mongolia and towards Kazakhstan. But there was one major problem with this plan. Companies in Canada had stopped shipping into Russia and there were no flights going there. So there was only one way to get us and the bike into the country, going via South Korea. Luckily for us, South Korea is operating a single ferry once a week from Donghae to Vladivostok our ticket to returning home. So we've now booked a flight for us and Bumblebee from Vancouver to Seoul. We will then have one week to reach the coast and board our ferry towards the Asian mainland. It's gonna be a hectic ride as our Russian visa is also due to expire next month. So every week counts. If we miss any connection along the way, our journey may well be over. So we just stopped. I was gonna put my rain jacket on. I went to press the clutch and I couldn't even find it. And uh, it looks like the clutch is just hanging down. Can you see what's wrong? Yeah. The, yeah, it's the screw. Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, foot pedal that we just changed. It's on. <laughs> it's on. We did it. Yay! 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 <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So that's uh, a bad, bad mechanics by us then. Hey. Oh, okay. So this has got a screw into there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's scary. Yeah. That was weird. I was like, where's the clutch gone? All right, let's get out the toolkit. Okay. Okay, I think that might be it.
it says very rough road four-wheel drive only this is not a road to bryce canyon i mean so far so far that, bit, good, uh, that bit immediately ahead looks really good yeah maybe that's just to scare people off yeah let's see oh my Carly. god look at the road ahead <laughs> okay yeah that's the that's the bit you can't do yes that looks very very rough yeah i can't do any further than basically this no okay awesome no, this looks cool, really hey? good oh this looks really good oh, i love it i mean look we're like in a sheltered canyon yeah wow i think we are home baby oh yes this is just amazing <laughs> The reality of riding around the world. What is that? But yeah, we have another 150 miles on the highway. just spectacular spectacular i mean nearly every camp we've had here in the u.s so far has just been absolutely spectacular yeah mind-blowing eh mind yeah just blowing. really nice landscapes behind yeah. quiet spots you know yeah. yeah normally with like a campfire and a picnic table i mean it's just crazy <laughs> yeah, it's true <laughs> yeah this country is just made for going off and exploring different state parks and national parks yeah And now it's time to clean up. That's your job. Oh, oh, the first marriage uh, discussion here. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Look. Channel stuff, channel stuff, channel stuff, emails, emails, emails. There you go. <laughs> we stopped here in the climate store because it's absolutely crazy. The company that gave us the sleeping mat, which we've had the best two nights literally camping of the trip so far. Well, they are based here just outside of Salt Lake City. We thought, well, if we're kind of passing through, well, let's stop by. Yes, because actually we had so difficulties with our tents for the past week like we couldn't zip our tent anymore like it was on the brink to completely die so we thought we stopped by and see what they have and maybe we can get a discount on a tent or like something like this but you know what <laughs> they gave us one love to get you taken care of we think it's a great thing that you're doing and get you cycled out with some new gear and some stuff that should work out great for you thanks so much brent really thanks so much Thank you guys you have been super Perfect. super nice to us over halfway there, right? Over halfway. <laughs> Looks like there's some grassy spots up ahead. Oh, it's so cool here. Wow, every spot we've had has just been so nice. Grassy flat surrounded by trees. Oh. Welcome home! Yeah! I can't wait to pitch up the tent! Let's do it! And we got chairs to sit in. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, does it? Doesn't get better than that. What a view, hey, what a view. <laughs> Woohoo! So, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
no. <laughs> Sorry, Oli just hit the camera with the pole. <laughs> How's that? Okay, 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 okay. Look, we have a little pocket here on the side. There's a pocket on the side. Okay, first sit, first sit. Oh my god, a chair! <laughs> oh, this is like the best thing in the world. Where are we going? <laughs> we're heading away from the highway again. I think we're on, on our way to a farm. Mm -hmm, it looks like it. I've got some ruts here, hey. Oh my god. It's all right. Okay, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, so the okay. ruts are kind of pushing around me tires, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, okay hold on a minute. Good. I'm gonna go down in. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. That's a bit of an adventure in the morning, isn't it? We're going on a rural cow tour of Idaho. <laughs> this is a ridiculous road. That is actually ridiculous now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Seriously, what's going on? Thanks, Google Maps. Hello. I see on your thing it said coast to coast. Yes. How far have you walked? I'm not a walker, I'm a runner. You're a runner? Yeah. No way. Yes. Where did you start? In seaside North. This is maybe number seven, no, 21. You're heading from the west coast? Yes, to the east, to New York City. And you're heading to New York City? Oh, wow. Wow, so now you're 75 and this will be the eighth time running across the United States. Now how cool is this? <laughs> is that too cool or worse? Yeah, well it's a bit easier for us. We've got the uh, motorbike. No, when he's running. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. And that's it. Bjorn is running. Welcome to Oregon! And look, there's a beaver. That's nice. So I just saw a sign. We just crossed the 45th parallel. What it means is that we are now exactly halfway between the equator and the North Pole. And it's absolutely crazy because it feels like just yesterday that we crossed the equator. Yeah, it's true actually. <laughs> and now we've literally just passed one eighth of the entire world since we crossed the equator. We went all the way from 55 degrees south in Ushuaia and now we are 45 degrees north. It's pretty that's pretty crazy. Oh my god, that's crazy. I can't get my head around how many miles that is. Oh my god. Chilly, eh? Okay, we have found ourselves a pretty flat spot over there and uh, we also reckon that nobody else is going to come because the road getting there is pretty bad but I'll give it a go. All right, here we go. So I've got to go around here, up here, yeah, round, 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 onto the grass. <laughs> Perfect! Surprise! I've been sent out to go and make coffee. Cheers. everything's packed up on Bumblebee and Lavi's gone down the hill because she wants to get a good vantage point to watch me potentially fall off the bike <laughs> because to get out of here there's two ways 
I can either go back over the grass and down a really rutted track but then there's a shortcut because right here in front of me is a pretty steep hill probably the steepest hill I've ever been down so we thought it would be a fun trial this morning if I took this hill on I'm gonna try not to hurt myself but yeah this is probably the biggest hill I've ever taken oh definitely the biggest hill I've ever taken here we go oh my god holy ho oh, straight down amazing okay that's pretty crazy i mean that's got to be twice my height right there anyway you know this journey is all about improving my skills improving our skills every day that's a good practice right there Whew. nice Okay, so we just tried to film a drone sequence here in the forest and the drone hit a tree. You check on that side, I'll check on this side. There it is. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see if there's any damage. Oh my God, I think it's not damaged at all. Look, the gimbal's still working. Hello! Oh my god, that's good. No, his arm is broken. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, no. We can glue it. It's still attached on the bottom side. Look, it's yeah. just on the top side. Okay. And it's just that little seam there. Okay. We can glue it together. I'm going to turn it off then. Okay. All right. Sorry, Joan. Hopefully you'll live to fly another day. Uh, I really like main streets like this. With all these nice old buildings and cafes and all kinds of... It's very quaint. And these houses look really charming, hey? Yeah, I would love to live in one of these houses. <laughs> and some nice porches with some rocking chairs, of course. Look at that. There we go. Big yes. giant circle there, big giant circle there, big giant circle over there. Wow. The scale of the agriculture here is just insane. I've never seen anywhere like this. It's like literally farmer's fields as far as the eye can see in every direction. And there's not a single bush or a tree or anything. There's not even a verge on the side of the road. Look at this. It's like it goes from road directly to field and then fields as far as the eye can see. Okie dokie. Yep. Oh, thank you. Welcome home, darling. I just cleaned up. Oh. So here will be our palace. Yep. And then our little like sort of kitchen area will be here. Oh, the kitchen here. Yep. yep. Where's the bathroom? In the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, hey? Yeah. Amazing. So beautiful. So good. So it's pretty late at night now and I don't know if you guys can hear that but there's like generators on, there's trucks driving around, there's a guy chopping up wood with a chainsaw. I mean seriously guys, <laughs> seriously. I'm not sure these guys are coming here to appreciate the nature. Oh. <laughs> 
So our arm gluing technique seems to have worked, but I tried to power the drone on this morning and it is not, it's coming on. <laughs> I was just about to say that I couldn't get it on. Okay, okay, okay. We have to try and fly it. Woo! Ah! Pinky is alive. Yes. Okay, let's go film the lake. Oh wow, look, we're coming right into it. Here it is. Wow. The city of Seattle. Yeah. Home of Nirvana. Death Cab for Cutie and um, and Fraser. That's like the only three things I know from Seattle. It's like the two bands and the TV show. Wow! Yeah, we're gonna... Look at that. <laughs> that's like that's a cool ride. That's a cool ride. I mean, mountains are cool, but it's also cool sometimes to just ride straight through the city centers. We are in the center of Seattle. That's amazing. Wow! Beautiful. I like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. You can find us on YouTube or any or online if you search online. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. It was nice to meet you guys. Nice talking with you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Wow, so, so kind. That was Milt and Janet, and they were waiting for a pizza order as well next to us. And Milt just started asking about our trip. And, uh, we, you know, we we're just selling him, and he said, oh, it must be really expensive. And we were like, yeah. You have no idea, it's really expensive. And then he just gets out a hundred dollar bill and gives it to us and is like, this is for you guys. Wow. So kind, wow. We've arrived here in Bellingham, one of the most northerly towns in Washington state. We are very close to the border now, hey? Yes. Like less than an hour. We're nearly in Canada, baby. So, I don't know what to do. Um, let's have a look, your stuff is ready at Amazon Hub Counter, Bellingham Whole Foods. Yep, I'm here. Your stuff is ready at the counter. Show this barcode. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go show the barcode. Good afternoon. Barcode, thank you so much. Well, there you go, easy as that. Thank you so much. Ah, it's Christmas. Christmas morning, hey? Oh, would you look at that? Whoa, low noise, quick release propellers, DJI. Mavic. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're going to install those later and then I think our drones are back in action. Woo! And look at this for a border crossing. It's yeah. like Peace Arch State Park. There's a nice park, there's flowers, it's green. It's a beautiful sunny day. I don't know which lane I've got to be in. What does that say? Only lane Nexus. What does that mean? No idea. Uh, yeah. Okay, where is home? Uh, UK. Where did you import the bike as well? Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we brought it over. Yeah. Okay, how did you do that? Uh, in a container. Wow. Yeah. So you must have had to time everything. Oh, it's yeah. Logistically, it's pretty tough and expensive. Yeah. yeah. We'll actually fly it out from uh, Vancouver here. Yeah. To South Korea. While you're going there next. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, and then we'll arrive back home hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. See you later. Here we are. We're in Canada. Country number 22. Yeah! 
journey around the world. Woo! I'm so yes. excited. <laughs> nice. Woo! So glad that we made it here. And we made it here in time for our shipping to bring Bumblebee from Vancouver to Seoul, South Korea. The day after tomorrow. Yes. Bumblebee goes. And we go this week as well. Yes. Gonna be a crazy time ahead, I can tell you that. Wow. A busy time, but an absolutely crazy time, and I can't wait. I think maybe just here. All that right. would be nice, yes. Yes, we found somebody to write Canada <laughs> before we left Canada. There you are. Oh, thank you Perfect. so much. That's awesome. Thank you so thank much, you so Maria. Yeah, you. we talk to you soon. Okay. Yeah, thank, right. you. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. That's it. Last views of Bumblebee. Bye, Bumblebee. Bye. Here we go. We're on the old sandals and socks again. We're on our way back to the campsite now without our beloved wheels. But everything has been paid for, everything is good. Marie told us that all the paperwork's in order and everything should be good to get Bumblebee over to South Korea by next week. Yes, she was really friendly, really professional, really nice. Yeah, I have a good feeling. But we did just have to pay nearly 5,000 Canadian dollars, which is about two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. Two and a half thousand pounds. I think it's even three thousand pounds. It's three thousand? Yeah. It's a lot of pounds anyway. <laughs> a lot of pounds. <laughs> but at least this means Bumblebee will be headed over to Asia and that means the world record is still on and the journey is still on. Yes, so we will keep you updated but that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.